Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to make our way through Ann Orlando. It's going to be a pretty long video today. There's a lot to do in Ann Orlando. But before we get started, I want to show everybody I did put on the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring because we're going to try to find a symbol of avarice. And I also put on the Black Eye Orb because we're going to need that as well. Also, I went to Andre and leveled up my Falchion to level 10. If you have not done that yet, go back and do that. We're going to need it to make Quay Lag's Fury Sword. All right, without further ado, let's get started, and I'll see everybody after the cutscene. Welcome to the lost city of Ann Orlando, everyone. Pretty majestic, huh? Huh? Down here, we're going to have these huge guardian knights. Be careful. They pack a punch. But they're not that hard. As long as you're taking one at uh, one on at a time. If you try to take multiple on at a time, it's going to be difficult. Not impossible, but it is going to be difficult. And then take this last one on as well. Oh my goodness. I keep getting hit by that bullshittery. Let's heal ourselves real quick so we don't die. As we start in Orlando. Got the giant shield, sweet. Got some demon titanite. We're going to be using all our demon titanite to level up Quaylag's Fury Sword. I don't think we'll be able to get it up to level 5, but I know for a fact we'll be able to get it up to level 4. We'll just have to see when we get there how far we can level it up. Just kind of lure one out at a time and take them on. We have a bonfire. We're not going to rest at it yet. Just because I want to get this stuff done. We're trying to get him a little further over here because I don't want to hit the mimic. Mimics in the remastered version are very easy to tell apart. The Mimic is lighter than the 
like actual chest. Be careful of that grab attack. Get some twinkling tight night. Take that guy out, and then we're done with the garden uh, guardians. Oh my goodness! I think they're guardian sentinels. I think that's the name of that enemy. I don't know. I know they're guardians. So before we rest at this bonfire, we're going to talk to an NPC. But before we even talk to the NPC, let's go ahead and pop a few uh, souls. We're going to use the core of an iron golem. We don't need that soul. If you want to use it, you can. You do not have to do the exact same thing as me. I know I've said that before. But I'm just... Repeating myself. Also, I want to apologize to everybody about the last video. I was like super tired and I was up practically the whole night doing runs in Sin's Fortress and I wasn't feeling very well. And I forgot to talk about so many different things, including the rusted iron ring. I was just like, oh my goodness. What are you doing, Mr. Wayne? Let's talk to this NPC, then we'll sit at the bonfire and level up. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the Chosen One, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm, what is it? What am I? Well, I am the Keeper of the Bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. The bonfires attended by the Keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the Keepers of these flames meet. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. So let's do what she says and rest at the bonfire. We don't need to kindle it. It's already kindled. And we can't kindle it any further anyways. Alright. We can go up to 26 across the board. Almost 27 on vitality. That's alright. We'll try to level up at the end of the video as well. Just to push out a few extra levels. We're going to be heading to the painted world of Ariarmus. I can never pronounce the word. Um, I think it's Ariarmus or Ariamus, something like that. Um, in the next video. And that's where we're going to gain a ton of levels. A ton of levels. That's actually why I'm trying to get the symbol of Avarice as well. So we can get a few extra souls. Right here we have a gargoyle. Be careful. He's on some bullshit. You can get the axe from him as well. The gargoyle tail axe. So if you didn't get it whenever... Oops. Whenever you fought him or them the first time. He really is on some bullshit today though. 
Okay, we got the shield, the halberd, and the gargoyle helm. So the um, shield and the halberd are not a guaranteed drop, but the helm I'm pretty sure is. That was just a lucky drop. Let's go ahead and drink an Estus just in case. Also, if you want to make this next part a little easier, you can get Iron Flesh. It's a Pyromancy. Ooh, some more uh, Demon Titanite. Uh, it's a Pyromancy, and it'll make you walk slow, but you will take less physical damage, and your poise will be upped drastically. We're going to take this pillar on up. I'm not going to use Iron Flesh. I was going to use it. I actually bought it early into the walkthrough, thinking, oh, I'll use that. But I don't know. It just, I don't find it that useful. No, I was going for that backstab. It's all right. We'll backstab this one. Grab out your bow. And we're going to shoot these painted guardians. Get them to start running across here. Eh, no, it was a miss. There we go. Be careful. It's easy to fall off here. I always hate anything with heights. I'm actually very terrified of heights, so whenever I play a game and I have to do something up high, it's butthole clinching. It's true. I wouldn't lie. We'll kick that. That's going to break down there. That chandelier will be handy a little later. Well, not the chandelier itself, but the item that's on it. Wow, it went right through its armpit there really there we go now for that other painted guardian across the way you can see on the ladder that doesn't always happen. If it doesn't happen, just use your bow like I was using and take them out. We just kind of got lucky. Let's see if we can't. Nah, I don't want to chance it. Yeah, too close to the edge. We'll hit him one time and then go down. <gasps> Ooh. That was really dangerous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was really dangerous. As soon as I rolled, I, I knew. I was like, uh, I just fucked up. But we're going to come down this way. Careful, we got a painted guardian. Grab a divine blessing. You can see a uh, big booby Guinevere over here. Got another Painted Guardian. They drop throwing knives pretty regularly. We're going to heal up. And then we're going to push this lever here and go through another cutscene.
be very careful. We have another gargoyle trying to wreck our day. Would not fight him right over there either. That's just asking for trouble. Come on, doofus. Doofus schmortz. You can cut his tail off, but I don't believe you can get a um, another axe from it. Well, we weren't able to cut his tail off, but I'm pretty sure you can't get another gargoyle axe from there. We're going to push the lever again. It's going to go down. Hopefully this doesn't make people dizzy. I know it makes me dizzy, but a lot of things make me dizzy. I have really bad motion sickness. It's kind of why I can't play VR, unfortunately. Let's light this bonfire. I'm not going to sit at it or kindle it. There's no sense in doing that. We're gonna grab the ring of this ring of the sun's firstborn. Go back up to the top and push the lever again. Now we can start making our way towards the keep itself, which is massive. Looks more like a cathedral than a keep, if I'm being honest. Or castle. Looks more like a cathedral other than a castle or a keep, whatever you want to call it. If you don't get close enough, you can actually just shoot these guys and they won't aggro. They'll be like, oh yeah, shoot me in the face. Or in the chest, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, I got too close. It's alright, we can take them on. Oh, I thought he was going to have another swing. Guess not. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know what that guy's doing, but okay. We're going to have to fight these demons that brought us to An Orlando. They're not that hard. They're more annoying than hard. As long as you have your shield out, you can take them out pretty easily. This guy we can knock right off by shooting an arrow at him. Just don't shoot him in the head because it'll stagger him. And it won't knock him off. Perfect. Okay. So, before we run down here, we have two demons. One on the left, one on the right. But we also have two silver knights that are going to shoot arrows at us. My advice to everybody... Don't bother fighting the demons. Just run. Just run. Don't stop. Try to dodge their attacks if you can. But see how there's already arrows coming at us? Yeah, it's not a fun time. I don't ever fight those bat demons there. You can. I guess they're bat demons. I don't know what to call them. Just demons, I guess. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't fight them. It's not worth the trouble. What? I dodged that. That's some bullshit. Be careful. You want to parry these silver knights. You do not want to fight them. 
straight out. Or, hold on. While that's doing that, like he can't hit us. You can also use Great Combustion to kill him as well. But, I say just parry him. Parry the world, man. Parry the world. There we go. That's more like it. Let's come down here. We'll get a, I believe, a soul of a hero. Yep, soul of a hero. That was right. We're going to drop down right over here. Go through the fog wall. And then take the door to the left and we're going to see a familiar face. Hey, Solaire, what are you doing here, dude? Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. He glitched out there with his dialogue for some reason. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use one of our humanities. We're going to rest at this bonfire and kindle it. We're going to go through this door. There's going to be another silver knight, except this one's going to have a spear. They're not too bad. Well... Not normally. We got the Silver Knight shield. It's a pretty decent shield. Get three Sunlight medals as well. Let's just go ahead and heal up. Take this Silver Knight out. This door to the right, we can't go through yet, but here we can. And if we roll through, we can come down here and we have another mimic. Let's be careful. They hit pretty hard. We did not get a symbol of avarice. That's okay. We have two more tries. And it's okay if we don't get the symbol of avarice as well. We do still have a chance to get it. We got the whole Havel set along with his dragon tooth. And an occult club. Alright, let's go up the stairs now. We're going to open up this door. There's going to be another silver knight. Parry him if you can. I understand if people still aren't good at parrying. You can always fish for backstabs. Get another soul of a hero. To fish for backstabs, by the way, you want to hold up your shield. Lock on to the enemy and kind of keep circling around them until you have a 
good opportunity to get that backstab. Right here is another mimic. Man, that camera angle was very awkward. No symbol of avarice. Sounded like something was running at me for a second. Another mimic. All these mimics in here still can't get a symbol of avarice. Crazy. Nope. That's alright. We will get one eventually. Take out this silver knight at the end of the hall. He's going to shoot arrows at you. Pretty easy to dodge. I guess this guy oh my goodness they're making me look like a bitch over here to the left you cannot open this door yet we're actually going to do a big circle As soon as you open this door, there's going to be a silver knight to your right. Be prepared for it. Also, you don't have to be locked on to get... Oh, nice. We got two Silver Knight Swords. Or shields, not swords. But you do not have to be locked on to get parries on enemies. Let's talk to... Zigward here. Or Sigward. Hmm. Whatever can be done. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Oh, don't be ashamed. Tis the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three, no, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. So, he's talking about the three Silver Knights that are in here. To our right, we have one that we can take out pretty easily. Choose our bow to get that guy to come over here. Grab two demon titanites. And then out here is where we started. Where that asshole silver knight was. Let's talk to Zigward again. Hmm. 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 Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, gallantry entails great risks. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Now we're going to head back upstairs. We have another silver knight to deal with. Surprise, surprise, they're all through here, considering it is Gwyn's place of residence. Well, 
Not anymore, but it was. Right here to the left, we have a Titanite demon who's going to want to wreck our day. Just be very careful. Pull our bow out. We just want to hit his knee if we can. Just line it up to where it'll go through the doorway. And we're going to do this for a little bit. So this is going to take a while. I'll uh, cut the video a little bit to when I actually kill him. So I'll see everybody in just a moment. And we're back. That took forever. Let's pick up two more Demon Titanite. And then we're not going to go up there just yet. We're actually going to come down here. We're going to have another Silver Knight. Take him out. And then for those of you that don't feel comfortable fighting Silver Knights yet, just go ahead and open up this door. This will lead back to the bonfire. And then come and kill this Silver Knight. We open up these chests. We'll get the Silver Knight set. All those Drake heads here. There's one big massive one right there. I think that's more of a dragon, but I, it might be a Drake. And there's a really big one up there. I think they're all Drakes, not dragons. Considering all the dragons were killed off. We're going to come up the stairs here first. We're not going to come down this way just yet. We will circle back around and go down there in just a little bit. But first, we're going to come over here to this broken window. We're going to hop down. Just be very careful. It's easy to fall off this spot and die. Not that you would have a long run back, but still. Get the Dragon Slayer Great Bow and some arrows. Let's two hand our weapon and we're going to drop down on top of this demon. Take his ass out. Go ahead and heal ourselves. We have another demon. This one's easier to kill because he's right next to a wall. So you can just spam R1 on his ass. We have another one to the right down here. Get his attention. Going to lure him up here. Get him close to the wall. Give him some false security. Or don't. They hop back and it's very annoying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that shot. Grab, our, grab ourselves a Titanite chunk. And then before we go up there, we're actually going to come over here. Open up the door. Be careful. Guardian's going to try to hit us. And then we have a giant blacksmith. I'm going to roll to the side here. Open up this chest. Maybe. Open up the chest. Who are you for? No. It's not what I want to do. He keeps pushing us, but there's a chest here. Get the hawk ring. You might get a little stuck there, but just kind of wiggle your way out. Now let's talk to the giant. Mm -hmm. Hello, Forge. I can. Strong I am. Let's talk to him real quick. Talk. Tis no good. But Forge, very good. I help anytime. <laughs> I help anytime. We're going to modify our weapon. 
We're going to come over here to the falchion. We're going to use uh, Quaylog's soul to make Quaylag, or I said Quaylog. Either way, Quaylog, Quaylag, um, whatever you prefer to say. We're going to make Quaylag's fury sword. Only want this sword for one reason and one reason only. Let's go ahead and level it up. Oh, uh, well, okay. So we're one demon tight knight short. It's not too bad. I thought we were going to get all of them, but I guess not. Comment soon. If you want to use Quaylag's Fury Sword now, you can. I'm not going to. I only use it in the painted world of Ariamis. 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 Maybe that's what it is. Something like that. I'll ne I'll never be able to pronounce it. Not because I don't want to, but because I'm trashed here with words. That's why. Be careful, we don't want to get the other guardian coming after us just yet. We're just circling back around here. We're hopping off here. We're going to run over to this lever, push it, open up the door. Just be very careful because we do have the two guardians out there. If you go too far back... Oh, this bastard right here. Cheese master funk here. Nope, nope. That was almost really bad. If he does that move, get away. Get away. It hurts. It hurts and knocks you back as well. Quit jumping, bud. And then right there he tried to heal himself as well. Let's get the other guy. It's okay if we use... Um, a lot of our Estus. We're going to be getting them all back anyways here in a moment. Got a Titanite chunk. You can farm them for Titanite chunks. It's just not very reliable. So I don't. Let's go ahead and use our Black Eyed Orb. Or black eye orb and then we'll switch back to our Estus here and we have invaded the world of law track because he's the one that killed the bonfire keeper well look at you I thought you were wiser but I thought wrong. Tis a terrible pity. Like a moth flittering towards a flame. You fellows, no? Don't you agree? <laughs> I always lure these guys up the stairs. It just makes for an easier fight. Sometimes. Come on. Just be careful of the caster here. He can be more of a nuisance than anything. Alright, we killed Lawtrek. That's all we had to do to uh, complete this invasion. Just don't die before <laughs> you get out of here. 
And we have the Firekeeper Soul, the Ring of Favor and Protection, and five Humanity. That is a lot of Humanity. So, do not use this Firekeeper Soul to upgrade your Estus Flask. I repeat, don't use it. The reason why is because we're going to revive the Firekeeper back at Firelink Shrine, and this is her soul. So don't use it. We are going to use the Ring of Favor, though. The Ring of Favor, and I think we'll use the Ring of Steel Protection, because we don't need Havel's Ring anymore. We can roll without having a fat roll or a mid roll now. Let's go ahead and summon in Solaire. He did say, anytime you see his sign, summon him in. You don't have to summon in an NPC, by the way, to help with boss fights. I know there's a lot of people out there that prefer to do that or don't prefer to do that either way. Um, I just do it because I like to. I don't know. I like summoning Solaire. Where is Solaire going? He hopped off, didn't he? Oh, you are stupid, aren't you? Stupid Solaire. Also, summoning in an NPC or anybody whenever you're battling a boss does make them harder. So, there's always that. Let's go through the boss fog and see a cutscene. I'll see everybody after. Be careful. Try to get between these pillars here if you can. I wasn't paying attention to Ornstein here. He is easy to stagger, by the way. Kill your eardrums, huh? So now we have to kill Smo. He's not hard. Just don't be caught up in that, which I was. Should have ran away, but whatever. Hopefully Solaire can survive. There we go. We get the soul of Smo. And then we get a humanity and a sunlight medal. Thank you, Solaire, for all your help. I promise he wasn't a distraction. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. We're going to come up here. We're going to run down this awning, I guess this would be. I don't know. Pick up the favor set. That's Law Trek set. If you did the quest line, then that set will be there. If you didn't and you kicked him right off of the edge at the beginning of the game, then that set won't be there. Let's go ahead and light the bonfire. And also, let's try to get a few more levels. We'll use the Soul of Smo. Just, again, don't use that Bonfire Keeper or Fire Keeper Soul. Same thing, right? 
You will be sad, 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 boys and girls. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you won't. Who knows? Who knows? See how many levels we can get. Uh, uh, well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We got five levels. Let's go ahead and open this door and we're going to get a bit of dialogue. Thou hast journeyed far and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. O chosen undead, thou hast journeyed far. You can enter her covenant, but... I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and talk to her a little bit more. Since the day Father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee, once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art. O chosen undead, and beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. A grave and arduous test of metal, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. All right, this is where we're going to end the video, everybody. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.